I'm making this video in response to um, Sean Cole had done a video a couple weeks ago about the um, Butt Kicker Gamer 2, which I've had for a couple years now, and uh, uh, it's awesome. And I highly recommend it to anyone who's got a, uh, a sim rig and wants to have better immersion. Um, I'm, I race in VR almost exclusively because I like the immersion uh, and having that uh, rumble in the seat is, is part of the immersion that I find, um, well, now that I've had it, when I, it's off or if it overheats and turns off by itself or something like that, um, it feels like, you know, something's truly missing. Kind of like racing without your force feedback turned on. But anyway, uh, I wanted to talk about some comments that had come up during that video about mounting uh, horizontally versus vertically. And what they're referring to is the way that the actual um, transducer drum is oriented. Now, when I got mine, I mounted it to my rig. I kind of was impatient, and I threw together this... Um, this extruded aluminum rail that I happen to have for something else and I had to double it up in order to be able to mount the gamer uh, to on there but as you can see if I show up underneath here I'm gonna flip this over in a second it is mounted in the horizontal mode uh, and that's just because I had no way to do it vertically at the time but I'm gonna hand the camera over to my assistant and then I'm gonna flip the chair over and show you the way this is mounted Okay, you can see that it's mounted in the horizontal axis, uh, but I do have it so that it is bumping into the seat. Now, based on some comments that came back, I had done some experimenting last week. I have here, this is actually a stainless steel uh, spare curtain rod hanger, and then this is another piece of extruded aluminum I happen to have for some other project. And last week, after I got those comments, I mounted this to here, so that I could mount the uh, the gamer to in the um, the vertical axis, um, and I tried it at the at the back of the chair like this, and I tried it at the front of the chair like this. Both of them with the butt kicker facing in, but obviously rotated. And I also tried taking a um, a solid piece. Uh, and this was all mounted directly underneath there. And I even mounted it to this with it in the horizontal position. And I'm here to tell you that none of those positions were nearly as effective as this. Uh, so through all that experimentation, this was far better. And let me explain why. When this is in the vertical position, you do get much deeper vertical uh, reactions from the um, transducer but you miss everything above the super low end stuff. So everything above like 40 hertz, uh, maybe even 60 hertz, starts to really wane off because it's hanging out here on this arm and it's not able to translate into the seat itself. Uh, and so what you end up getting is only the big road noise or the big bumps or collisions tend to pronounce themselves. All of the engine revving is lost once you get above, you know, 60 or 80 hertz. It all just starts to fade away, no matter how I messed with the filters or anything like that in the Sim Commander software. So uh, by going back to this, you know, the transducer is, is of course giving its biggest power in the left right here in this axis, but it is giving you a lot in this direction as well. So what it ends up doing is it makes the whole seat react holistically not just this point load in the middle. Uh, it sort of spreads it around and therefore is much more in sync with the tactile feeling that I get from the wheel. So uh, when you have the wheel, uh, and I've got the, um, the TSPC racer here, you know, I've got it dialed in for, you know, the various sims I have here, you know, a set of Corsa, R Factor, Race Room, Competition, um, so when I'm uh, got those vibrations through the wheel and road surfaces through the wheel, they are very much in sync with the feeling I'm getting with the Gamer 2 uh, in this axis far, far more than I was getting when it was in this axis right here. Um, 
So anyway, that's what the video was for, is just to, um, to talk about that. One of the things I will display before I turn off the video is um, if I go to the output mixer, I'll just kind of zoom in on this. This is the general settings I have um, for, the, uh, for the butt kicker. And by the way, if you don't have Sim Commander, uh, Sim Experience, um, Sim Vibe they call it, um, for the butt kicker, you just got to go get it. it. It's it's not even in the same world if you just try to run it off of your audio. Uh, it, it's not the same at all. There's some more settings right there. So anyway, that's the video. Uh, just wanted to talk about the orientation and all of my experimentation and found that this was far more successful than uh, the vertical mounting. So, all right. Everybody have good racing. Take care.